You ready for a conspiracy? We have one juicy conspiracy for you. And if you don't like conspiracy theories, you can get the f out. Wow. Yeah, well, there's people sometimes who comment in the comment section down below saying, I don't like these conspiracies. Why are you guys talking about this? F off. We have a Godzilla with dicks on his back. That's right. And he, he actually bones right here. Okay. Well, if you thought that there could never be a Funko without Mike Becker, you might be wrong. Funko might be without Mike Becker. We're not entirely sure what's going on, but somebody reached out to us on her email and gave us a bunch of information, information that I would have never went to seek out. Like I would have never looked for this information. But this person pays very close attention to Funko's corporate webpage. And we have photos to back up some of the things that we're saying, or actually all the things that we're saying here. They reached out and they said they noticed a few people have been dropped off of the Funko corporate webpage where management is listed. Well, I actually, well, can I see your phone? Why? I need your phone. It's very important. Funko, quarter four, 2023. What the hell was that? Why did you talk to it like that? I didn't know what else to say. And I just need one piece of data. Okay, here it is. Okay, so for some reason I thought it was today, but actually on March 15th, the new CFO stepped up and they're serving as the active CFO. Is that what you wrote here? Yes, however, you actually wrote it down right there. You're right. Yes, he re he resigned. But for some reason, I thought that it was the 19th. But it was the 15th. So some of these changes were probably made around the 15th. Okay, so a lot of this might not be making sense to those out there right now watching this video. Because most of the time, people who are looking for, you know, Funko YouTube content, they're looking for unboxings or reviews of Funko Pops or just, I don't know, just fun Funko content. We offer that very little. Most of the time we talk about really heavy shit. And heavy. this time it's about Mike Becker, one of our favorite people. Fun Maker Mike, you can find him on Instagram. He's always posting great videos. And up until just a couple of hours ago, I was wondering if something really bad was happening with Mike Becker. But we're gonna talk a little bit more about that. As we mentioned, we have a Godzilla with wieners on that his That is also what we have. This person, also in their email, states that Andrew Perlmutter and Steve Nave and Doug Oglesby were removed from the website. So the management lineup, it looks like a bu it's a bunch of heads. We're going to show you, but it's like a bunch of heads and it tells you their title. And you can actually go to the Funko corporate webpage right now, but keep watching the video. But you could go there right now and see this picture, which we're about to show you. Yeah, we're going to show you here. So don't go there now. But that's not the only name that was removed. Yeah, didn't we already say? Mike Becker was removed. Mm-hmm. And I want to know what happened. As you, as you can see, Michael Lunsford is there. A bunch of other names that I don't recognize. <clears throat> People that we don't really talk about because they're not in the That's forefront. the new CFL. The he new... took he took uh, Steve Nave's place. Yep. That's so, the only name I recognize. But here are all the people, right? So you, you don't see uh, Mike Becker. No. Nope. Weird, right? That's really weird. Okay, so hold on. This photo is screenshot from July of 2023. He was the Senior Vice President, Creative and Entertainment. And this is October of 2023. Mm -hmm. And of course, there's Mike Becker down there, Steve Nave, Michael Lunsford, Andrew Perlmutter. They're all there. Where's Mike Becker? So today, when all this was going down and we were receiving emails from this mystery person, my first thought was, go over to Instagram. Is Mike Becker posting anything on Instagram? And as of like the time that I was looking at this, which would have been right around, I don't know, like 3 p.m. Eastern time, nothing had been posted like brand new. Actually, it was earlier than that. It was like noontime. Nothing new had been posted. The last, thing, the last thing that was posted was like three days ago. Mm -hmm. But then this evening, Mike Becker posted something. Yes, he did. Here are the newest videos. So there are these really awkward videos where he's giving, did you see any of these? No, I don't want to. They're really awkward where he's giving away like Things. photos to people. Some of these people are okay, but then some of them are a little awkward. But then here he is talking to Alan Tudyk of about, what? Alan who? Tudyk. He's got how many? It's Alan Tudyk. He's got how He's many? an actor. He's a good actor. What he, do you mean? Don't he, don't be stupid, Adam. He's got two what? 
It's Alan Tudyk, he's a very good actor. What is wrong with you? I would imagine so with two of those. You're so childish. It does sound like he has two dicks though. Mm -hmm. Look at these, look at these awkward videos. I, I mean, feel so awkward. <laughs> yeah, that's so weird. Like all of them are so weird. I'm not laughing <laughs> at the people. I'm just laughing because you know Mike Becker's there. He's having a good time. He's being Mike Becker, and then I guess he's grabbing random people. And these people were shopping, and I don't think they ever realized that this would happen. Like now yeah. they're they were dragged off, and they're like, oh, okay, now I'm in a video on Instagram. What I was going back and looking at were all the Mike Becker videos, okay? Mm -hmm. This one happens to be like a Funko one. Like yeah. this was made by Funko. And I thought this might be the very first time that Mike had posted something mm -hmm. like this ever. But you said by going back and looking in history, which I thought I went far enough back, but I didn't. But I thought this was the very first video like this that had ever been posted no, by him stuff like on Funmaker Mike. Don't be silly. What do you mean? Look, look, this person on the Chew Dick said he loved learning about his yardstick collection. I just want to know what that means. That's, I mean, that's fantastic. But look, if you keep going, look, it's all He's got Mike yardsticks Becker. for his Chew Well, hold on. Where's the video that you're talking about? These are all Mike Becker videos. Right. He, they haven't done an interview in a long time. You're saying if I go deep enough, I'll see an interview? Is that one? No. It's this is just an eBay live thing, right? Oh, okay. But but there there aren't any videos that are like something that only Funko would post. You're going I mean, too fast. I don't like it. I'm not going too fast. Here's one. Is that one? Yeah. Okay, so that's one. Let's Hold on. No, it. keep going. I'm not. Well, why? There's gonna be more. I, I'm not going anymore. This is this is ridiculous. That's it. I'm done. I'm done looking. Hmm. So the point is, is that what's the point? I thought by looking at that. That was telling us that maybe he is becoming something much bigger for Funko because he's posting something about, like, from Funko specifically. Okay. Like, he's becoming the CEO or president. Now, my original thoughts before we saw that he posted this brand new video was that did they let Mike Becker go? That was one of the ideas. Did they accidentally not post his photo, which would be very strange? It would be strange, however, it could have been an oversight. Maybe he didn't like his picture and he wants a new one. So our friend was basically saying that there was a Q2 2023 earnings call where Michael Lunsford and Steve Nave were talking about how great Mike Becker is as a creative at Funko. Yeah. So it's interesting that, that not seller. too long ago they were talking about just how great he was. Yeah. So I actually went and listened to that podcast and I remember it or, or cast, webcast. I went back and listened to it just to recapture what they were talking about. Mm -hmm. And he was right. They were they were basically they were licking upon the balls of Mike Becker. That's what was going on. Well lucky Mike. So our friend says they check the page every few months out of curiosity. And while they were looking yesterday, clicked away and back, and the page had changed. Not sure if it was being changed right then, uh, or, or I first like encountered, or encountered a cached page, then an updated one. Not sure how that works. Noticed right away, Andrew and Doug were gone. But then late at night, I thought, I don't recall Mike being there. So I checked this morning, and, and sure enough, he was gone. Okay, so here's an opinion from the person who emailed us. We're not saying who they are. They could be very important. It could be Tom Selleck, okay? It could be the guy It could with be Alan Two Dicks. Two Dicks. He could be on here with his two dicks. In my opinion, if he was important enough to bring up on an earnings call by name, they should put out a press release out, put a press re release out if he is gone. He can't be important to Wall Street and also not important. That's my opinion. Not sure what is required. I think that with a publicly traded company, Anyone in those big roles, I think it has to be reported. Yeah, that's what he's saying. Yeah. Yeah, he's saying that this is typically <laughs> where they would release data and say, hey, this actually happened, yeah. which it would be huge news, right? No one's talking about this. I've been paying attention to like uh, pop news, like all over the place, like Funko related news everywhere. I didn't see anything. Like no one's talking about this. So is it super important? Is it not super important? I don't know. I think w for us, it's to bring you all the latest and greatest things that we spot. This could mean really great things for Mike Becker, or it could mean that Mike Becker is moving away. I think that it's just an oversight and they're updating That's the weird, Steve Nave but, thing. Okay. 
and for some reason they pulled Mike off, but I don't know That's really why. weird just to remove Mike Becker. I mean, yeah. he's like the guy. I know, it's weird. So our friend says they just updated the page again on the Funko governance management team, which you can find on the Funko corporate website. If you type in Funko corporate, you'll get all this. Adjusting photos, personal, was smaller before, looked a bit odd, so they're clearly working on this page yesterday, today, and no, Mike is not back up there. Yeah, so I'd be curious if they put him back up by the weekend. Well, that's my question. You I know? figured, well, I figured, honestly, by now, we would see an update, <coughs> because why wouldn't they put him on? Like, that is really weird, right? It is weird, but it's also management team. So is a creative really part of management? Senior vice Senior president. Senior vice president, creative and entertainment. He's not on there anymore. It is so weird. is it that they, who, is there a senior vice president, entertainment, something, something here? Senior vice president, Johanna. Well, there's, yeah, well, there's a ton Johanna. of senior vice presidents here. Yeah. They're all different uh, vice presidents, but I do not see. There's nothing creative. A creative entertainment. So there isn't a president up here. The president's gone. Maybe he's the president. Could Mike be growing and being big? Maybe. And getting big? Maybe. You think he's getting all tall on us and we didn't know? Not as big as two dick. Not I mean, as big, well, not as big as, well, it depends. You stack them both on top of each other. They're pretty That's big. a pretty big dick. So this is an interesting piece of news. It's a conspiracy. What do you guys think? I would love to know, like, do you, do you think that Mike Becker is out? I mean, come on. It's Mike Becker, and he's no, posting. He's, not he's still posting videos yeah. and things, unless they're just residual things. Like we have to post this. Like he has to post. He it doesn't on his have account. to. That's his personal account, though. It's I know. Not I don't. Account. But I'm just saying. I don't know. I don't know how any of this works. Like maybe he's continuing to do the thing until they finally announce something. Maybe they're ready to announce something, and maybe a big announcement will come. I don't think. Remember, so. he's going to be speaking at WonderCon. Mariotti had stepped down prior to SDCC last year, but. Could could Becker have SCC. stepped down? Maybe? I don't think so because um, Steve Knave stepped down. Well, didn't step down. It said he resigned as of March 15th. Was Becker the same thing? So he's senior yes. vice president, yes, creative entertainment. Oh, yeah, he was the same. Yeah. I don't know. That's weird. That's like Disney forgetting to put Mickey Mouse up, like on their character roster. Yeah. Because that's the name that we all know. Like all those other people, you've never heard of them before until we showed this video. I think we'll see more posted by Mike Becker over yeah. the next couple of days. You think it's more Mike Becker, more fun. I mean, I think it's very interesting, a very interesting topic because why wouldn't he be on the website? Like that's weird. But yeah. at the same time, Alan I feel Tudyk's like- here. He's back, he's an original Funko right here. I feel like if he were going somewhere though, they would have said something already. Unless he just said, hey, f you all, and then peaced out. But then why would he post today? He's gonna be at WonderCon in like a couple weeks, right? March 30th is when he will be there. Mike Becker will be present at WonderCon on Saturday, March 30th for the panel, Fun Maker Mike, how the fun was won. By the way, brilliant move. This is what I was hoping that they would do. I was hoping they would put uh -uh. on some events. What? Becker is a comic book artist and illustrator based in film. Now, there's another Mike Becker, believe it or not. They just, they're mixing the two things. Oh, up. why? Are because this is AI. This is what AI gives you. Look, it's, it's a mix of two different Mike Beckers. That's weird. I don't like it. It's stupid. Yeah, because here he is, Mike J. Becker. I mean, he's probably a great artist. Look at this guy. Yeah, cool? that's fine. It is cool. That's a cool guy. That's weird though. He's a literal wizard, it says. That's really cool. I like that we found another cool Mike Becker. Everybody should go follow him. So one other thing that happened today was a ridiculous amount of announcements. I saw the Nickelodeon ones. Oh my God. And They're, I saw Banjo-Kazooie, did you see that? We're just gonna touch upon this for a second. We're not even gonna show you photos no, of these things. Like, about all it'll be tomorrow's video. We're gonna discuss all the brand new things. For whatever reason, they're releasing four daredevils. Four I mean, black know. light daredevils. Now, I just got to say that I really actually like them. I think they're cool. Okay, but like why four? That I don't understand. It's almost like they got like 20 people to make them and they really liked four of them and they couldn't decide and they just said, well, let's just make them all. I love daredevil. A lot. Like, he is a very cool character. Like, how can you be a blind superhero? That takes talent. And to be really hot at the same time? There was a lot of really cool things announced today, and we're going to go over each one of them tomorrow. Hey, that's some... another wiener name. Charlie Cox? Alan yeah. Tudyk? 
<laughs> Heather, you gotta stop. Tomorrow we'll talk about all those things and more. Uh, let us know what you think about this story. Do you think it's just like bullshit? Do you think it's stupid? Does it not make any sense? Did they forget to add Mike? And if so, how did they forget? Uh, yeah, that's that's my whole thing, is that this is a scenario where you just don't forget somebody. There is a reason as to why he is not on that list. Either he has stepped down, he's no longer with the company, or he's going to take place of like the I president know. of uh, I Funko. Know. I know what it what it is. Hold on, well, hold on. There's one part of this we didn't get into, but go ahead and I'll get to my part. Do you remember the person that made the decision last year to sticker the Fun Days yes, boxes yes, separate yes, from yes. the at-home ones, but uh, put the same figures in there? You mean the dumbest person that's ever walked the face of the earth? Is that who you're they talking about? They got demoted to the website guy, now their website guy, and they forgot Mike Becker. That's the only explanation. That's the other part of this story that I want to talk about, just t lightly talk about. What is it? If Funko, I'm talking directly to you, and I don't know who's watching this, if you're a Funko employee and you're you're just the guy who sweeps the bathrooms, or if you are a big name at Funko and you're on the list that we just showed, if you get rid of Mike Becker, you virtually dismantle the entire company. If you get rid of Mike Becker, you're stupid. I'm not saying that you are. I'm saying that if that thought ever entered any, anybody's mind, that would be the worst thing that you would ever do. Because now Mike Becker is trying to connect with the audience again. He's trying to get the fanatic love back and it feels really good. I'm starting to feel that like fun again. I'm they, feeling it. Even though there's a lot of BS going on at Bob's Big Boy, I feel like something good is going to gonna They happen. are not getting rid of M Mike Becker. They're not. They're not just going to put up that dumb, ginormous Project Fred and then say, hey, goodbye, Mike Becker. Maybe that was his last hurrah. No, it was not. Because like, they I'm... haven't even sold it yet. He, they did. It's done. It's sold. It's not even in people's hands. You know that they're going to give us like 20 Becker, videos Mike Becker. of him with a big boy saying, hey, guys. Mike Becker said, I got on. my project done. I'm out. That's it. Nah. That's it for me. Project Wrong. Fred. Project Fred was the end of the line for him, and Wrong. he was out the door. No, I really don't think that's happening. I don't. I, you know what? I don't know what's happening. It could be happening <laughs> for all we know. We don't know anything. But the fact that he is no longer on that list is really, really strange. I don't know why it's happening, and I would figure by now that Mike Becker would be added to that list once more. Watch us tomorrow morning. Wake up, and this whole video was for nothing. Well, yeah, he's going to be right back on. <laughs> he be back on again. And here he's we are gonna, speculating. He's going to see this video and he's going to say, oh my God, you forgot to add me back. What if he messages us and he's like, how'd you find out? I didn't realize anybody paid attention to that bullshit website. We do. We actually, well, we, we don't. don't. No, Somebody no actually us. one of our awesome viewers did. And thank you to the awesome viewer who shared all this information with us. Without you, we couldn't make this speculative video. What if it was Mike Becker? And he, he's not going anywhere. They wouldn't listen to him when he said, put me back on the website. So now they need us to talk about how he's off the website so people stop speculating and then they put him back on the website. It's really weird. The person who emailed us, their name is Mayan Brariati. It's a weird name. <laughs> Speculate some more in the comment section down below. In every video, we like to shout out to our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Michael Petrino, Joseph Mayfield, Brian, Fanatic Hat, Greg F., Ryan Thomas, David Jones, Brian Barrick, Danny Allen, and Zach Bonifer. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys are awesome. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post brand new content. And also hit the like button because that helps this channel in a very big way. And if you want to support even more, check out that Patreon at patreon.com slash castlecast. We have a blast there and we would love for you to join us during our live Google Meets that we have every single month where we do giveaways and we also talk about all things mission toys a lot of behind the scenes stuff so if you're a mischief toys fan you're gonna want to join up right away yeah and i'll let you know when i remove chris from the website hey thank you for watching until the very end of the video we really appreciate you we will see you on the next one bye